Hey, what's going on? I'm Laprentice Demond, and today I'm doing a water review on Core. I think Core is how you spell it. Q or say it. Q U R E water to see how great it is for our health. All right, let's go ahead and get this poured up. There's a lot of different awards here, right? So it says this is the official water of a lot of different things. So we are going to see how it is. And we're going to test it here against this electrolyzed reduced water. Right over here. Boom. All right. So the first thing we are going to test it for is antioxidants. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use this ORP meter, which stands for oxidative reduction potential or the potential to reduce oxidation. We're going to see if this water is positive on this on the meter here, right? Because if it's positive, that means it's oxidizing us. It's creating rust, inflammation, and dis-ease in the body. So ultimately making us older. Okay. However, if we see a negative number when we put this wand in the water, that means it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, um, and it's gonna keep us looking young and healthy, okay? So let's go ahead and turn this on. And let's see what we get here with core 10. Remember, positive is bad, <laughs> negative is good. As you see here, we have a positive 178, okay? So that means it's oxidizing us, it's creating more sickness in the body, all right? 182, and it's going up. Let's compare it to this electrolyzed reduced water and see what we get here. And oh my gosh, you see that dash there? That's what you want with your water. So this is showing a negative 771, all right? That's a negative, right? Which means it's an antioxidant and it's gonna be fantastic for reducing inflammation or an itis, okay? So think of bronchitis, tendonitis, myofasciitis. If you wanna lower that stuff, you wanna be drinking something that's full of antioxidants. I just wanna check one more time to make sure we aren't that's not a fluke. Yep, and this is still showing positive. It's still oxidizing us, all right? Let's go ahead and jump into the second test, which is on alkalinity. Okay, on to that second test, which is on alkalinity. And pretty sure if you drink this water and you're buying it, it's because you saw that it says a pH of 10, okay? But we're going to go ahead and test it for this alkalinity anyhow. And if we see a red, or orange, or yellow, like a shirt, it is acidic, okay, and it's actually eating the minerals and electrolytes that's in our body. However, if we see a blue or purple or a dark purple, that means it's alkaline is keeping our body balanced. It's balancing out, taking out that acidity. Let's see what we get. Huh. Well. Looks, uh, <laughs> looks good. All right, so this is looking like a 10. This is, these are looking about the same, right? So now I gotta see if it actually withstand that acidity, right? So it's one thing to be alkaline, but it's another thing to actually withstand it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my stink breath into this water, blowing it and see if it actually handle the acidity that I put into it with the carbon dioxide? Is that what I put in there? Common dioxide? We'll see. Wow. <laughs> Didn't last long and it immediately went to yellow, right? So it's funny because looking at this, it's the official water of Surf City USA, a lot of places, which is, means it's great at marketing. And it says here it's alkaline plus electrolytes. Think about it for a moment. If something is alkaline, it already has the minerals that makes it um, alkaline and you don't have to add in electrolytes. Electrolytes are just your, your minerals, your potassium, magnesium, um, calcium, okay? And you're adding in extra, extra, extra electrolytes, you shouldn't have to if it's already alkaline, right? But clearly that's not the case um, and they have a 
pH scale on the back here, which is interesting. But it shows here that this is purified water, which means the water was good. Then they ripped everything out of it. And I'm curious on if they did it through reverse osmosis. Doesn't really show here. <laughs> but either way, they stripped it of all the natural minerals and then added in electrolytes when it already had the minerals. Okay? That is your Cure pH 10 water. Let's go ahead and test it, this water, to make sure or even to see if it does something similar to a Cure. Alright, so it doesn't change. Why? Because it's not purified water. <laughs> it's not purified and on top of that, we're not adding chemicals in to make it a pure alkaline, right? So fantastic marketing by these guys because it says pH 10 is alkaline, which on top of that adds electrolytes to make it extra alkaline, I guess. Um, and then you see all the people that, there's, that they've made money off of along the side, right? So you're like, oh yeah, this is an official water, it shows alkaline scale, it shows cure as a 10. That means it has to be good for me, right? Ultimately, it's not. And so on top of that, we're paying big money for this because it is an alkaline bottled water. So there you have it, pH test. This is really, really acidic. Let's go on to that third and final test, superior hydration. All right, on to that third test, superior hydration. If you haven't seen this before, we are going to make tea. This is how we do it. And the reason why is because we want to make sure that we are getting hydrated at a cellular level. Meaning it's not just sitting in our stomach waiting to go process like all your foods and stuff like that, right? Um, so this tea bag is a great representation. So let's see if we can make tea using Cure. I think it's cure. I think that's how you say it. All right, it is not making tea. And you're probably thinking, well, duh, the apprentice, of course it's not to make tea. You gotta boil the water to make tea, right? Well, why are we boiling the water? We're really boiling the water so it can pass through the tea bag and actually make the tea. And we're actually starting to get it now, now that I'm bouncing it up and down a little bit. We are starting to get some tea. All right, so now, yeah, it looks all right. Looks okay. Let's see how it does with our electrolyzed reduced water. And look at that. The tea is darker. Look at this. And it didn't require the bouncing up and down, all right? So I feel bad for all these guys at Surf City, that OC Half Marathon, they're running, right? So this is kind of getting through them. But look at the difference between what they're getting and what they should be getting, right? Let's go ahead and try it one more time, just to see, make sure it wasn't a trick. Then we are getting a little bit of something here, which is, which isn't bad, right? We're getting something. Did a little bit of bouncing. I'm sorry, I said I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> and let's do it right here with the electrolyzed reduced water. Again, this water is just, this is how your tea is supposed to come out, right? You don't want, if you drink tea, you don't want like a tea light. You want the full thing. Sorry, right, let me try one more thing. Okay, I'm gonna put these over here. Cool, so we're gonna take a little bit of this one here. We're gonna squeeze it in. Cause it did make some tea, right? So maybe it'll make some more if it doesn't have, if it doesn't require the tea bag, right? So let's put it. Yeah, we'll do that. So let's try this here one more time. Oh. 
Okay. It makes a little bit of something, right? <laughs> All right, but nowhere as good as this, right? So it doesn't um doesn't take doesn't take much to dilute it, right? So it doesn't dilute it as quick, but you can see there's clearly a difference here, right? And with the right water, this tea can actually become a lot better, a lot stronger. So if you're taking supplements for your run, or you're taking pre-workout, post-workout, any of that type of stuff, you want to be taking it with the right water. That way it gets into your cells and hydrates you, brings in that nutrients and pushes out that waste, okay? So there you have it. Those are the three. Let's go ahead and do a quick recap of this water. All right, so we tested Cure water for three specific things. The first one is antioxidants, and we saw that this is oxidizing. So the rest of the tests don't matter because this is making us sicker. This is creating more sickness and dis-ease in the body. On top of that though, we tested it for alkalinity, which is number two. And it looked like it was alkaline, but it's really not. It's really a type of what, purified? Purified water? And then they added in extra electrolytes on water that was good that they stripped of minerals. That makes it acidic in the long run, which is bad because all the things that we're consuming, the cakes, the cookies, the ice creams, all those things, a lot of them, they're acidic. And we want a water that has a strong pH that's gonna be able to battle back all that acidity that we're taking. And this water, even though we're paying a premium price for it, even though it's backed by all these different people, it's not cutting it. It's backed by Bank of America. <laughs> Oh man. Um, and then last but not least, we tested it for superior hydration and we wanted to see how well it can actually hydrate us on a cellular level. And it does a little bit, it does better than a lot of the normal bottled waters, but ultimately it just, it just doesn't do well, All right? So there you have it. Those are, that's my review on Core Cure Water. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Share it with someone who you know drinks this water so you can be informed and we can actually save our money by not buying the stuff that's not actually doing us any good. Thanks for watching this, and if you're ready, if you are serious, if you are someone who cares about the water that you drink, check out what I got for you here coming up. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink, the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below Access that masterclass and I will see you there real soon.